excitement and elation in Sterling Heights. Plans to build a mosque rejected. Hundreds showing up at City Hall to have their say. That proposed mosque has certainly been a hot topic for weeks now. Let's get straight to 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville live in Sterling Heights tonight. Aaron. Stephen, the Planning Commission says that mosque would be too big and too tall for that residential area, and that's why they voted it down tonight, nine to nothing. And of course, that led to a range of emotions. The action of the Planning Commission is to deny the request for this proposal. After that announcement, voting down any chance of building a large mosque in Sterling Heights, emotions erupted. It looks like Iraq, not USA. I'm very offended that this happened. Doesn't seem like I'm in Sterling Heights. Seems like I'm in Baghdad. That's not right. I have right too. Are you so happy? God bless America. God bless over here. Because traffic is going to be so bad. Those are the faces of hundreds who stood outside after Sterling Heights City Hall was jammed to capacity. I cannot see the justification besides public pressure. Area on 15 Mile Road near Ryan, but many against it claimed it would bring too much traffic and congestion. When it was struck down, chanting could be heard inside the building. Put a mask over here. We don't hate Muslim people. Never we hate them. But you don't like masks over here. Mosque leaders told Seven Action News they would easily consider downsizing the 20,500 square foot building, some calling excessive with large towers and a dome in a residential area. One religious leader says this obvious division is sending the wrong message. Sad to say that they are sending a very happy uh, message to ISIS and Al-Qaeda and other criminals who are against our country and against Islam and Christianity and moral values. The mayor of Sterling Heights issued a statement tonight saying this decision was based on objective land criteria, not religious beliefs. He went on to say tonight, quote, Sterling Heights has a solid reputation for inclusiveness and tolerance reflected in a wide variety of places of worship across the city. Mosque leaders say they offered to revise and revise their plan, but of course that did not work. They say this fight is far from over. For now, we're live in Sterling Heights, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. Thank you, Aaron. We have